Hi, my name is Elias Logan. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com. I'm an authentic ancient Greek, Roman, and biblical coin dealer. I sell authentic ancient coins and provide each one of my items with a certificate of authenticity. The certificate of authenticity has a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, my signature, professional description, the coin in a professional case, and you get the historical background of of the emperor. So this whole thing is in full color. You get, this is the best of the best in the industry. Nobody else does this. So this makes a great gift out of them all. I'm here I actually started with my website, but I'm here to read you the biography of Roman Emperor Galba. Galba, Latin, Servius Sulpicius Galba Caesar Augustus, was born on 24th December 3 BC and lived until 15th of January 69. Was Roman Emperor for seven months from 68 to 69. Galba was the governor of Hispania Terraconsus and made a bid for the throne during the rebellion of Julius Vindex. He was the first emperor of the four of the year of four emperors rule. Galba's primary concern during his brief reign was restoring the state's finances, and to this end he undertook a number of unpopular measures. And the most dangerous is refusal to pay the Praetorians the reward promised in his name. Galba scorned the notion that soldiers should be bribed for their royalty. He was notoriously cruel through the empire, according to the historian Suetonius. Galba levied massive taxes against areas that were slow to receive him as emperor. He also sentenced many to death without trial and rarely accepted requests for citizenship. He further disgusted the populace by his meanness and dislike of pomp and display. Advanced age destroyed his energy, and he was entirely in the hands of favorites. Three of these, Titus Vinius, who became Galba's colleagues as Consul Cornelius Laco, the commander of the Praetorian Galb, and Galba's freedman Isilus Marcianus, was said to virtually control the emperor. The three were called the Three Pedagogues because of their influence on Galba. All this made the new emperor gravely unpopular. Mutiny! On 1st of January 69, two legions in Germania Superior refused to swear loyalty to Galba. They toppled the statues demanding the new emperor be chosen. On the following day, the soldiers of Germania Inferior also rebelled and took decision who should not be the next emperor into their own hands, proclaiming the governor of the province, Vitalius, as emperor. This outbreak of revolt made Galba aware of his own popularity and the general discontent. In order to check the rising storm, he adopted as co-adjunctor the successor Alcopernius Piso. The populace re regarded the choice of successor as a sign of fear and the Praetorians were indignant because the usual donative was forthcoming. Assassination. M. Salvius Otho, governor of Lusitania and one of Galba's earliest supporters, disappointed at not being chosen instead of Piso, entered into communication with the discontented Praetorians and was adopted by them as their emperor. Galba at once set out to meet the rebels. Though he was so feeble he, that he had carried a litter, he was met by a troop of both those cavalry and was killed near Lacus Cartinius. Thank you very much for visiting my website trustedcoins.com and buy authentic ancient coins of this emperor and others. Thank you very much.